<clears throat> Sound check, so check, one, check. Hello, Paul. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, Hello, Paul. Good evening. Yes, Paul, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Malino. Malino, po. Malino po. Yes, sir. sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have two minutes before we officially start now. How's everyone po? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Ready na po ba? Kumain na po ba kayo? Thank you, Sir Rafi.
Okay, so I think uh, we can start already. May call on the, the one who is assigned to lead us for a prayer. Start na po, sir. Yes po, Ma'am Joanna. Yeah. Okay po. All together in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for always in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So for our Master and Sister, uh, Master and Sister Brothers, I will be the one to lead the prayer. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wal barakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Rahmani rahim. Malik ya umiddin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nashtain. Ina sirata wa mustaqim. Sirata wa zina amta alayhim. Kaira al-mudubi alayhim. Wala dhali. Amin. So, kamusta po silang lahat? How's everyone? Can you please give me a thumbs up? Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Ayan. So, I hope meron po naka-assign para mag-accept uh, mag na mag-participate. Sir Rocky, no? So, shout out for our 61 participants in our Facebook Live. Kumusta po? Okay. And so, so, we have now 62. So for this afternoon, so ready na po ba sila? Handang handa na po ba? So kung ready na, give me a heart. And I hope everyone will be uh, with me in our review. Okay. So this afternoon, our review. Thank you, Sir LJ, Mom Berlin, Sir Darrell. Kamusta, Sir Darrell? Good afternoon, Sir Majid. Hey, good afternoon po. I am Arlene. Good afternoon, sir. Yan. Sino po yung mga bago natin? Yung mga hindi ko po nakasama sa dating review. May mga... Good, good evening, mga... sir. Good evening, sir, Darrell. Yung mga bago po natin, kamusta po sila lahat? I am new here, sir, Majed. Ma Actually, this is my second time pa lang. Ma Arlene Labo po, Labonete. Labonete, ayun. Hello, ma'am. Kamusta? Yes, sir. We're neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> kamusta, kamusta. Welcome to Teacher A. Thank you po. Online. This table so, yung internet ko, sir. In this table. Okay lang. Uh, so, don't be bothered. No, Don't be bothered if my video is stuck up or frozen on your screen. What's important is the audio. No? The audio is audible. Malinaw. Because that's the most important thing in rationalization. And... And I hope everyone will be participating, especially also as well as those in our Facebook Live. Yeah. Alam ko medyo problem natin yung connectivity kasi medyo yata maulan sa Pilipinas. So let's start, no? So our review this afternoon will focus on curriculum development, okay? So curriculum development is one of the areas in professional education that's very wide. Napaka-lawak ng kanyang sako. Okay, so please, I, please do allow me to talk in uh, English and, and Filipino, okay? Para mas ano natin yung rationalization and everything. So you may ask your questions later on. So again po, our, our, this, our topic would be curriculum development. So we will start with our target competencies, okay? Mom Arlene. Yes, sir. Yes, would you mind reading? Yeah. Okay, we'll read now. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Target competencies, number one, apply approaches to curriculum development. Number two, 
distinguish the roles of stakeholders in the delivery of the curriculum. And number three, align curriculum components to instruction. Okay, so this is our target competency. So, medyo natanggal yung high ko doon. Pinag-edit ko, so my apology for that. So, apply approaches to curriculum development. Take note, this is a recap, a review. So, meaning you have a previous knowledge already about the different principles, concepts, theories about curriculum development. So, as I always state on my start or on my orientation for the review, that in professional education, questions are situational. So we will be putting ourselves, okay, my dear aspiring LPTs, ilalagay na po natin yung ating sarili bilang isang picture that we are going to apply the different theories into a real-life application, situational no, application in a, in a classroom setting. So yung po yung titignan natin at ilalagay natin lagi pagka sumasagot tayo ng mga questions. Let us not just look at it as a theoretical level, but more of the deepest, no? Yung pinakamalalim. So these are our three target competencies. So this is my guiding quote, no? When I'm giving a discussion even in, in classroom or even in this review. Kasi ito yung pinaka, pinaniniwalaan ko talaga na the highest level of attaining learning, no? Not just uh, being schooled, but being uh, not just being schooled or being schooling, but more for learning. Iba yung learning sa schooling, no? So, Mom Nerjana, would you mind uh, to read our quote, guiding quote? And I'm expecting everyone to be with me with this quote, no? Mom Nerjana. Oh, si Sir Darrell. Sir Darrell? So I hope everyone is... Yan, mahilig pong magtatawag, magtatawag si Sir. Huwag <laughs> po tayo matakot, ha? Sino po kaya? Let me see. Yes, Sir Darrell. Ayan, makita ko na yung microphone. Go ahead. Mabasahin mo ba, Sir? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, learning codes. Tell me and I... Tell me and I forget... Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn by Benjamin Franklin. Okay. So in our review, I don't like na ako lang yung nagsasalita. No? Mas gusto ko yung nagkakaroon tayo ng interaction. The more question, the more rationalization we'll be giving on the different questions. Kaya po siya tinawag nating review. As I said, Ito ba tayo yung life quote niyo, sir? Ha? Huh? Ito ba tayo yung life quote niyo? Uh, as, uh, yes. Being a teacher, this is my life. No, this well, this is my life quote. No, tell me, I forget, teach me, and I remember, involve me, and I learn. So, take note, we are talking about curriculum development. Yeah, so as a teacher, we need to take in mind that we are not just a teacher, but we are a curriculum designer, implementer, and supervisors. No, so kailangan natin isipin yun. So, that's why we need to involve ourselves. And how do we involve ourselves? Uh, admit ko muna natin yung mga... Yan. I hope mayroon ko na kasi mag-admit no? para tuloy-tuloy tayo. So, ito yung aking pinaka-quote. How about si Ma'am Arlene? Ayan, si Ma'am Arlene. Ma'am Arlene, and would you mind sharing your quote in life? Again, sir? Your quote. Ah, okay. I will read it again. Tell no, me and I forget. Yes, Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. So, um, in front of the sir, ah, okay, <laughs> I want to share something here. Like, um, yes, sir. what you really have to tell me is that, of course, I can forget it, but if I have the right knowledge on this, and if you have the, the right teaching or strategy, what I've started, I can easily learn to that because we're talking about here the curriculum development. We're in curriculum development, is that the one we will start? The very start this is like the the start of the of the class so you will never forget it if you have to teach it properly or you have to put it in your mind and you involve in it a part of the learning with the school thank you sir that's a that's a very nice answer mom yeah so how about sharing po yung pinaka yung yung quote mo naman mom yung guiding quote mo meron ka bang guiding quote being a business woman being a teacher Ano po kaya yung guiding quote mo? 
mga motto in life, meron ba? Ah, kasi, motto in yeah, life. Maganda kasi yung may mga quotes tayo. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Do, do you have any? Um, whatever knowledge or uh, wisdom you have shared to your learner as a teacher, they will never ever forget it because they will be a part of your life already. Something like that, sir. And they will never ever forget you as a teacher. Oh, wow, that's a very nice one. Yeah. So, as a, my dear LPTs, yeah, just, uh, I hope you will embody this quote, no? Being a teacher, this is really what we need, no? Uh, dito nagkakaroon ng issue ng spoon feeding, yung ganun, ganun, no? So, Dito, kailangan natin involve yung learners natin. Kasi the more we involve our learners, the more we'll be able to assess. So this is with what I have discussing previously, assessment, we will be able to assess, diagnose, ano ba yung level ng understanding nila in the different uh, subject that we are dealing with. Kasi kung makikinig lang kayo sa akin, tapos wala naman ako makukuha from you, then I will not be able to give you what you really need. That's why we call it a uh, recap, no? Recap. Ako po, sir, may hindi ako. Ah uh, yes, Sir Darrell, go ahead. Ito po yung isa sa mga ano ko, uh, life quote ko, sir. Mm. Forget the for uh, forget the negative things. Do uh, do not dwell on the past. Live on present and be ready for the future. Yes, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's a very nice one. So if we are going to change that into another quote as a teacher, ito yung quote that is applicable now in our new curriculum. Ano ba yung uh, quote na applicable sa new curriculum? That is to unlearn, no? Learn, unlearn, and relearn. So, yo, kailangan matuto tayong maging open sa ma na magbago. Yung dati nating alam, okay? Kalimutan natin so that we will be able to embrace what will what is new. So, in short, natin, sir, ano po? Diba? In short, sir, ano po? Move on. Yes, in short, move on. Okay, so three pieces of passing and topping the board exam. Sorry, as I said, the main objective is to pass the exam. And the second is, syempre, pag nagawa natin mag-top, wow, that's a very nice one. Okay, so I also encourage our 61 life participants to share their life quotes or mottos. Yan. So three pieces for passing the or topping the board exam, prepare. So this is what we're doing. Then after preparing is pursue your plan. So you have your plan on how you will review. So as I said, you should not uh, devote most of your time in reviewing. Huwag naman tayong masyadong ma, ano doon sa pag-review natin. Kailangan din natin balance. Balance you should be there. No? Let's, let's not have brain drain. Huwag natin going brain drain, but it should be brain gain. Not brain drain, but brain gain. Okay? So, and pray. Yan, prayer. <laughs> Yan yung pinaka-importante. Prayer. Yan. Ako kasi mahilig ako sa mga quotes talaga. So the key to growth, so this review is for you to grow more on the, on the different topic that we have, curriculum development. So again, napakalalim po nito, maraming covered. Mamaya may kita niyo yung mga target natin. So when we say curriculum development, anong one word that will come to your mind? Na pag sinabi natin curriculum development, bakit ba nababago ang curriculum? Bakit nababago ang curriculum? Ma'am Irene, one word that comes to your mind na ito yung pinaka-meaning ng curriculum development. We will not be talking curriculum development by definition, but by meaning to you. Pag sinabi natin curriculum development, ano yung papasok sa utak ko? Parang sabi ko nga, ma one word, mahilig ka ako sa one word or two words. No? Pumunta ka ng Jollibee, alam mo agad, chicken joy. Wow, tumatata ka. Chicken joy. Ba? Mama Irene, curriculum development, one word. And this is the reason why curriculum is changing. Is that Arlene or Irene? Irene. Irene. Yes. What's up? Kaya po yung live put ko is uh, involve me and I will not forget. Yan. Diba? Sino kaya? Uh, Ma'am Rosalie, are you there? Don't be shy pa. Don't be shy. Ma'am Angeli. Dito ba si Ma'am Angeli? Wala. Yes, sir. Yes, Yo. sir. I'm here. Yes, Ma'am Angeli. Pag sinabing curriculum development, I know you know, all of you know the definition uh, of curriculum development. Pero anong one word? Give me one word that means curriculum development. For me, sir, progress. Progress. Okay. 
Good. Progress. Okay. Uh, how about mom? Mom, mom or sir? Oh, my apology, no? Pagka nagkamali pa ako lang. Rodeza. One word. Pag sinabi natin curriculum. Development. Sir, improvement. Improvement. Yes, progress, improvement. Ayan. Innovation. Innovation. Ayan. Ano pa? Transformative. Correct. Yes. Transformative. That's nice one. Uh, sir New John. generation. New generation. Ayun, malapit ka na, Sir Darrell. Palapit ka na sa pinakatamang sagot. All of the answers that was that were given is correct. Progress, uh, transformative, improvement, innovation, new generation. Ano nga ba talaga si curriculum development? Sino ba talaga yung curriculum development? So the, the answer to that is this. If a child cannot learn in the way we teach, we must teach in a way the child can learn. So that is the main definition of curriculum development by Colt, no? Meaning curriculum development, the curriculum, the curriculum is the children, the learner itself. Okay? Bakit nababago ang curriculum? Because we have different generations of learners. So we cannot pr provide them the kind of learning that we have previously. Kasi iba na yung interest nila. Iba na yung kanilang development. So when we say curriculum development, ay ilalagay natin sa isip natin as a teacher is curri the curriculum is changing because the learner is changing. So that's why curriculum is the children itself. Okay po ba? Kaya pag sinabi natin progress, innovation, uh, transformative, why the school is transforming? Because there is a new breed of learners. Okay. Especially in this generation. Anong generation of yung mga learners natin? Anong tawag sa natin sa mga learners natin ngayon? Gen Z. Wala nang Gen Z. Wala na ba, sir? Oo. Oh, Hindi <laughs> na sila Gen Z. Ano na sila? Hindi na rin sila millennials. Ano na sila? 21st, 21st century, millennials, yes? Ano na sila? They are now considered to be generation alpha. Okay. They will be dictating the future. So sila na yung ano natin. Kaya kailangan, kaya, kailangan i-ready natin yung learners natin. To what? To what kind of curriculum? Life ready, work ready. Okay. Like ready and work ready. Hindi na siya more on theoretical, more on application, more on skills na. That's why K-12 is more of processing, enhancing skills, skills development. Okay, so learning targets. Our learning targets are the following. Fundamental concepts of curriculum, foundations of curriculum, types and pattern of curriculum, curriculum process, and curriculum alignment. So if you're going to look all of those, okay, Bakit nagbabago yung curriculum? Again, because of the learners, because of the children. We cannot teach them the way we were taught. Siyempre, hindi na mag sa kanila yun. Kasi panahon natin, walang, walang gamit ng gadgets. And now they are digital natives. If we are not going to utilize the use of these gadgets as a tool for education, then they, we will not be able to entice our learning. Okay? We will not be able to go on the level of their interest. Yan. Kaya dito sa ating ProPed, meron na tayong dinagdag. During our time, walang EdTech. Ngayon, meron ng educational technology as part of licensure examination in professional education. So, ready na? Question na tayo. So, the first thing is, binigyan ko muna kayo ng mga inputs. Okay? Oh, Tindal. Tindal Belen. Hello, Mom Belen. Tindal. It reminds me of Tyndall effect. So the first technique that I always give Mom Arlene, since Mom Arlene is new, is my first technique, Mom Arlene, is to focus on the question. Yeah. Sometimes kasi when we take exam, right away, we can see the questions and the answers. 
And since we have reviewed already, nabasa na natin yung mga book, kaagad yung, yung eyes natin na didisip tayo to look for the keywords. So kaya hindi na natin tinatapos yung question. So I'll be giving you time now to focus first on the question. Yan. And when you focus on the question, the, the next technique is the underlining and encircling. So underlining is when you use underline, you underline the stem of the question. Ano ba yung tinatanong? At gano'ng kahaba yan? Ano ba yung tinatanong niya? Circle. Ano yung sinicircle natin? Conditions, parameters. There are statements that somehow appears to be the same, but because of certain conditions or parameters, nagbabago na yung, yung thought ng, or yung idea ng no, statement. So ito yung mga tricky part when taking a prop and exam. Again, situational na siya. Nandun yung theories behind it. Then, mahaba pa siya. Okay? So these are the choices. So you have the choices. Then the next technique is the law of elimination. So there will be always four choices. Two would be possible answers and the other two will not answer the question okay it is just a distractor and mind you the structures in a prophet are closely related to possible answer that's why the best way to identify the best answer is to know the conditions or parameters Let me see, you can uh, plug in your answers to the chat box natin, no? So don't, don't hesitate to plug in your answers po, as well as our Facebook Live participants. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Elsie, for that answer. Ma'am Irene, go ahead, go ahead. Konti pala po yung Again, our guiding quote in our review is, I want everyone to be involved. Okay? I want everyone to be involved. See, see. Okay. Ayan, natin. Anyone? Uh, parang gusto ko si Mamarlene. Mamarlene? <laughs> okay lang. <laughs> okay lang ba, ma'am? Arlene Labonete, sir. Yes, ma'am. Arlene. Okay. Yes. Yeah, for me, I have to eliminate the A because giving the writing sample, the students will not even know which the right or wrong. I will also eliminate um letter B because in the multiple choice, the student cannot even know which is the correct one. So I have only C and B left. Now I will choose letter C because in here, the teacher gives several writing assignments and then from there, they will determine which grammar errors are most prevalent. In that way, the student will even know because of the error, um, they will discuss something and the teacher will give you know, the correct answer. In that way, this is the best for me, for the teacher to determine how much time is spent on the individual grammar components. That's my question, sir. That's a very nice one. Okay, so your answer is letter C. Did I get it right, Mom? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How about uh, Mom Nurjana? Is Mom Nurjana around? So, ayan, medyo okay na tayo sa elimination. Uh, so, happy ako doon kasi you were able to eliminate. Now, let us look at the question. A middle school English teacher wants her students to improve their grammar skills when they write. Which of the following would best help the teacher quickly determine how much time to spend on individual grammar components. So we will be removing letter A and letter B. That's correct, no? So we will be left with letter C and letter D. Si Sir Darrell, alam ko na. <laughs> Kahit ako na agad eh. Nagpalit na siya. <laughs> okay, nagpalit na siya agad. Sir Darrell, gusto ko itang marinig. Go ahead. Kanina, alas uh, parehas kayo ng mga answers. No? Ano, then nag-change nag ka. Bakit? Sir Darrell. Sir 
So, ano yung stem ko ng question? The stem of the question is the best way to quickly determine how much time on individual grammar components. Yan. So, what would be the parameters or conditions? Okay yung sagot natin, yung writing assignment. So, ano pa yung pinakatamang sagot? Tignan natin, ano yung pinakatamang sagot? Okay. The correct answer is letter D. Okay. Letter D. So, I will give you time to look at it. So, Sir JR, yes, letter D. Mang Grace, letter D. Correct. Mang Gracia, letter C. Bakit kaya mas best yung letter D? No, sir. Anyone? You can unmute sir, your microphone. I think that's because of the specific grammar skills. I have a thought on that. Yes. Okay. 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 So, pagka hindi natin masyadong tinignan yung, yung parameters or conditions that set that will give us the main clue for the answer, we will be choosing the other one na medyo. Ano kaya most the answer natin is letter C. The teacher gives students several writing assignments and the rationalization or justification given by Ma'am Arlene Labonet is correct. Now, if we are going to look at the question, nandun na yung sagot na quickly determine. Okay? So, quickly determine, then we will be able to provide what? Diagnostic. And what would be our diagnostic type if we will be talking about grammar? So it would be an open-ended sentence. So may kita na natin on how they construct. So we will be able to discover, discover ano pa yung pause natin? Subject verb agreement, yung mga ganito. So grammar is a very ma malawak in coverage. No? So several writing assignments, do you think that would be a best one? Bibigyan natin sila several writing assignments. Maa-assess pa natin. So magtatambak lang, magtatambak yung papel natin. Why not go on to a simple way having a one-time no, pre-test but it is an open-ended type? Kasi ikaw na yung magbibigay kung ano yung, paano nila sasagutin, ano yung topic na sasagutin nila. Kasi magbibigay ka ng mas maraming assignments. So, time goes to me. Okay? So, again, ano yung guide natin doon? Quickly determine. Yan. Okay? spend individual grammar components. So, grammar components is a very wide coverage. So, para makita natin is writing. Subject verb agreement, spelling, and everything. Okay? Tenses of the verb. Yeah. So, yung mga English teacher na rin alam yan. Okay? Okay po ba? Copy? Give me a thumbs up. Yan. Natutuwa ako kasi nagkakaroon na tayo ng dito sa ating review. Okay? Wala, wala pong masamang magpalit, no? Wala po. Yes. Uh, wala pong masamang magpalit ng sagot natin, no? Pero pagdating sa exam natin, iwasan natin, ha? Do not write away shade yung answer sheet nyo, ha? Kung hindi ka pa sure doon sa sagot mo. Doon ka muna magsagot sa mga questionnaires. Okay? Again, first technique, cover the choices, concentrate on the question, underline the stem, in circle parameters or keywords or conditions, then those keywords and parameters will guide you to choose, lalo na pag may mga word na the best. Okay? So, yung letter C, okay naman. Pero, again, the point is quickly, mabilis. So, we will be giving a pretest as diagnostic. No? Next one. Okay, thank you. For those who answered that 30, and sino po yung nakasay mag-admit? Pa-admit na lang po doon sa mga pumapasok sa atin, no? Okay. Okay. Thumbs up naman po sa ating mga Facebook Live viewers kung nakaka-follow po at mabis naman po yung paglabas ng question. Again, 
first technique is to concentrate on the question. The next technique that I'm teaching is to underline the stem and encircle conditions and parameters. And once you will see the choices, that would be the third technique that is the law of elimination. You take your uh, the choices. Okay, so 10 seconds. So I hope everyone would be answering, not plugging, plugging in their answers. Thank you, Ma'am Bausi. Thank you, so Ma'am Christine, Sir Erwin. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, can you put the hello, Ma'am Evelyn? Okay, anyone who would like to read the question? John, Sir John Mark, kamusta? Hello, Sir John. Ma'am Anjali, would you mind doing it for us? Hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, after teaching the concept of simile, a teacher asks students to identify similes in a literary excerpt and asks students to write similes. The next lesson is on metaphor. Which of the following should the teacher to do to foster closure? Should I give, should I give my answer, sir? Yes, I would like you first to identify the stem. Oh, okay, so first is the stem is uh, identify similes in literary excerpts. Okay. Sure. Conditions and, and parameters. Conditions. Uh, uh, teachers should do a foster closure. Okay, good. Elimination. Uh, what are the two things that you're uh, going to eliminate? Uh, first, I would just like to eliminate letter A. Makes a list of figures of speech because it doesn't help the topic. Uh, letter B uh, also distribute a handout with a definition of metaphor and several examples. Uh, it will not help also the student to uh, know or interpret the the lesson, the remaining is C and D, sir. Okay. So my answer would be letter D, sir. Free view metaphor at the lessons and by demonstrating its relationship to simile. Okay. So I think everyone were able to get the correct answer, no? So the correct answer is da -da -da -da. Okay, letter D. Okay, thumbs up naman, thumbs up. And heart naman sa Facebook Live. Doon sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Ayan. So yung kanina, practice, medyo ano pa tayo, no? Ngayon, siguro sa so, masusunod na question, pa-exercise na yung mind natin doon sa mga technique ni Sir Mads, no? So usually, my, uh, my student uh, call me Sir Mads. Yan, yan po kasi yung palayo ko sa uh, my nickname. Mads. Mad scientist. Okay, so, ano ba? Okay, so after teaching the class about simile, a teacher asks students to identify similes in a literary excerpt and asks students to write similes. The next lesson is a metaphor. So, again, so we know this is all about figure of speech. So, letter A, again, we are not asked to... Hello, Ma'am uh, Ma Rosana. Okay, nice to see you as well. Okay, so we will not be choosing that because it will not answer the stem of the question. And again, the conditions or parameter set is actually closure to end the lesson, okay? To end the lesson. So this, as a teacher, it's a very important thing for us to be able to really put an end to our lessons. Hindi, pa, hindi naman na pwedeng sabihin na tapos na yung lesson ko, uh, tapos na yung lesson ko, magbibigay, lang, magbibigay na ako ng quiz. Our justification of the ending the lesson is quiz. It's not, no? So, in curriculum development, saan siya magbabagsak? Dito yung tinatawag natin sa elements, no? 
Uh, we have the elements of articulation, sequence, balance, yung mayan. Okay? So, some of the questions will talk about that. So, dito kailangan natin malaman ano yung articulation, ano yung sequence. So, let, letter B, distribute the handout with the definition of metaphor. So, you are not closing the lesson on simile, but rather, you are now starting the lesson on metaphor. Again, the condition is to put closure. Okay? And we know that metaphor and simile are related to each other. They, are, they, they have similarities and small difference. So have students come up with their own examples of similes. So this is assessment already. So the, the best one is letter D. We provide a free view of what would be our next lesson on figure switch metaphor because again, they are just related to each other. There is a similarity between simile and metaphor. So kapag nagpakita na tayo sa bata, maaaros ng interest na kagad, wow, meron pa palang figure of speech na parang simile, pero hindi, may tawag siya na metaphor because of just simple removal of a sim one group of words. So nagkakaroon na ng idea. So na-end mo na yung lesson mo, na-open mo na ngayon, nagbigay ka na ngayon ng new, okay, new uh, driving interest for your learner to look forward. Ano ba yung next na malalun ko? Okay. Uh, I'm using, uh, I'm using teach as ko lang po ang application tool nyo to uh, teach. I'm using PowerPoint. Okay. I'm using PowerPoint. Actually, I use uh, Gamified uh, quiz is and Kahoot. Pero so, nagkakaroon ng delay sa atong Facebook Live. So that's why I choose to use PowerPoint. Okay? So sinacrifice natin. Kasi pag gumamit ako ng Kahoot and quizzes, maganda siya. Kasi, again, my, my topic that I'm always discussing is assessment. So when we use uh, Kahoot and quizzes as a teacher, we will be able to see analytics kagad, data. So may kita na natin saan nalilito yung bata. And we will be able to really okay, focus on the rationalization. Kasi may kita na natin, ah, dito ako nalito dito. Ilan yung nalito dito? Yan. So, mag-guide na natin sila. Again, uh, ang, ang help ko po sa inyo is providing you the technique and how to apply the technique. So, again, first technique. Ayan, lalo na sa mga bago. Ito yung pinateknik ko. Cover the, the, uh, cover the choices. Focus on the question. Kahit gano'ng kahaba yan, tapusin mo. Kasi the tricky part would be at the end or at the middle. So, hindi natin alam. Okay? Then, underlining and encircling. Yan. Pwede natin sulatan yung questioner ito. Huwag po tayo matakot. Huwag lang yung answer sheet. Ha? Then, weighing. Ano yung weighing? Law of elimination ang tawag ko doon. So, there are always four choices. Dalawa dyan, hindi sasagot pag katama yung identify natin ng stem or conditions and parameters. Yan. Shout out, Mom uh, Jesse. Yeah. Okay, next. You can use the reaction button in Zoom, no? Kung medyo to tell me, not to give me a feedback kung mabilis or kailangan bagalan. Okay? So, let us use the Zoom, okay? Features, okay? Uh, yung mga icons dyan na uh, slow down, okay? Take it easy. Yan ka. Or thumbs up. Yan. Pagka naintindihan po natin yung rationalization. At pag hindi po, don't hesitate to ask questions. Okay. Would I be able to have that on you, my dear uh, LPTs? Give me a thumbs up on you will be doing that. Use the reaction button. Use the uh, icons. Counting uh, slow. Yan. Sobrang mabilis, no? Next. I hope you're answering on your end, no? So in our curriculum ngayon, medyo wala hindi na masyado ina-add yung homework. Hindi na natin pinapokus yung homework. Medyo minimized na yung homework natin.
Okay, so by their Zoom uh, participants, plug in your answer. Like please, ah, uh, please write the number, po. No, please write the number, mga Zoom participants and Facebook Live viewers natin. Uh, we are now on question number three. So please plug in your answers. We have okay, valid answers on that. Yeah. Okay. So homework is assigned for many reasons, which purpose below shows a misuse of homework. So meaning all of this uh, can be used okay, as a purpose or objective of giving homework. But one of that is considered to be a misuse. Okay. Okay. So the correct answer is Sir Darrell. Uh -huh. Misuse of homework. Pag gumagawa, nagbibigay ka ng homework, ano siya yung medyo considered mo as a teacher na misuse? So, varied answers tayo, no? May A, may B, may B, may C. So, again, so the stem of the question is all about purpose of homework. Conditions or parameter set is misuse. Yan, medyo, ayun, nakikita ko, nagkakaroon na ng... So, ito yung nade-develop natin sa review. Kaya okay lang sa akin na magbago kayo ng sagot. Pero again, in your actual exam, ha, wag, wag, wag po kayong magsasagot kagad sa answer sheet, kundi pa kayo siguro. Sigurado. Mag, doon muna kayo sa questionnaires nyo. So, the correct answer is letter D. Letter D. So, letter D. Bakit learn a new or unfinished concept? Homework should not be used Okay, to, to introduce a new concept or learning. Okay? Kasi, bakit? So, palagyan nyo, bakit? Yan, yung mga sumagot na letter D. Ma'am Roselyn, I hope I will be able to uh, hear out your justification. Ma'am uh, Roselyn? Um, good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. How are you doing po? Oh, hi lang po, sir. So for me po, sir, um, I choose letter D because learn a new or unfinished concept. Dapat ko ay first is the teacher is the one to introduce the new learning concept of the student, not the student to learn um, from themselves. Kasi po dapat guided po natin yung mga sujante natin. So yung letter A po, extended learning and practice time. So anytime po yan, as long as the willingness of the student, pwede po natin gawin yan. And also letter B is our responsible to encourage student always for their responsibility. And letter C, A, B, and C is the responsible of a teacher to encourage our students and assess them. In yes, that's a very good one. So Mom Jesse. Okay, homework. It is also used as intervention in face-to-face -face class. Yes. So, again, so we will be able, you know, pag sabi natin intervention, practice time, extend learning and practice time. Okay, assess what the students have learned. So, hindi po, ba, hindi po uh, advisable na yung homework ay gagamitin natin to, to introduce okay, a new concept. Tama po yung uh, justification, no? Teacher would be the one to introduce. Tayo magpe-present. At mas maganda kung uh, nasa classroom natin, no? Hindi sa, sa bahay. Kasi pag hindi pa alam ng bata, okay? Limbawa, hindi alam ng bata yung homework na binigay mo, sa palagay mo, magkakaroon pa siya ng interest na sagutan niyan. Okay? So that will be a burden. That will, that will be considered to be a burden a part of the learner. So we consider that to be a misuse. Okay po ba? Thumbs up naman po dyan. So, pag, bakit natutuwa si Sir Vats kapag ka nagkakaroon tayo ng pagbabago sa unang sagot natin? Kasi pumapasok na tayo doon sa tinatawag na objective ng review. Again, alam na natin yan eh. Napag-aralan na natin sa college, nabasa na natin sa mga reviewers, sa mga books and references. Pero, then sumagot na tayo ng ilang, da, uh, ilang daang questions from the time na nag-start tayo hanggang sa na-postpone, na-cancel. Yan. Yes, that's a good question, Sir uh, David. Okay, in an online, yan, 
in an online Sir David. Sir Dave, doon na papasok naman yung ating modalities, no? Flip learning. Pag sinabi natin flip learning, magiging iba na siya, no? Pag sinabi natin flip learning, it's the opposite. Okay. For example, um, would you consider giving um, watching video? Pag sinabi kasi natin flip, okay? For example, pag sinabi natin flip, babalik ta rin natin, no? So, for, uh, the main uh, example of me that is using an uh, audio media, no? Visual. Mga video. Instead na sa classroom, discussion during uh, synchronous, eh, manunod ka ng video, ibibigay mo na sa bata yung video, i-upload mo na doon sa ano. That would be considered to be a flip learning. Okay? Now, nag-introduce ka ba ng yung concept when you upload a video? Sir David? Sir Dave? Gusto Ayan, yung ating DJ. Sir David, microphone on. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yun. Yan. Uh, lakas na ng konti, sir. Yung ating uh, DJ natin. Ayan po, sir. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Go ahead. And yes po, sir. Kasi, um, well, bago po i-introduce. Come again? Uh, yes po. Bago po yung concept. So, Tama po ba? would you consider uploading a video to your to Google Classroom as an introduction to your to your topic already? Uh, pwede po, sir. Kura Or it will just... Teasers, mga teasers, parang po. Yes, teasers. Okay. You, it, you will just giving them an idea. Pero would you consider that as a homework? Would you going to give a point for the student? Ah, yes. Ah, that? sir, po. Hindi. Hindi. Wala pong points. Tama, tama. Thank you po, so, sir. Yan. Yun yung tinatawag natin. Okay. Thank you for that, Sir David. No? Doon tayo, doon na tayo mapasok sa different modalities at ito yung lagi yung sinasabi. Lagi natin pinag-usapan blended, hybrid, flip. Okay? And ang tanong is, naintindihan ba natin ang ibig sabihin ng hybrid? Naintindihan ba natin ang ibig sabihin ng blended? Naintindihan ba natin ang flip? Sinabi natin flip, ang pabalik na rin natin. So, for example, yun ang synchronous. Magpapalad ka ng video bago ka mag-discuss. Hindi mo nagagawin sa synchronous yun. Okay, asynchronous mo na. I-upload mo na doon sa Google Classroom kung yung video. Okay, papanood mo sa bata with the guide questions. If you want to or if you don't want to give a guide questions, it's okay. You can have that during the discussion. What's important is napanood ng bata. Now, if in the event din nila napanood, then they will be able to develop the, the sense of responsibility. Take note. Okay, learning is the responsibility of our learners, not by the teachers. So as a teachers, we need to encourage them to be responsible of their learning. Not by giving them a punishment, not giving them a homework as a punishment, but rather encouraging them to have a sense of responsibility. Na kailangan mong mapanood yan para makasabay ka doon sa discussion. Siyempre, pag nakita ng bata, oh, lahat ng kaklasiko uh, nagpa-participate, siyempre. Yan. Medyo may encourage din sila. Ay, kailangan kong panoorin pag nagka-produce si sir. Or the rest naman, pwede rin silang maghanap ng another new reference. Kasi, di ba, pagka... Pero hindi advisable na kunin lang natin yung link sa YouTube. No? If possible, unlisted. No? I-ano natin na unlisted. Para walang kasama. Naka-playlist lang. Para hindi na sila mag-open ng iba. So, yun yung advice ko sa mga teachers no LPTs natin. Pag gumamit ng video, huwag nyo lagay yung link ng YouTube. Gawa ng playlist na nandun lahat para yun lang yung bubuksan niya. Wala na siya ibang bubuksan pa. Hindi na siya maingganyo yung pang mag-open mag ng mga naman sa YouTube. Uh, lumalabas yung eh, pag-open niya sa link, marami nang nasa site. So, that would be a distractions. Okay? So, I hope uh, that would be clear. Sir David, thank you for that question. I like that. Deep learning. Okay. Next.
So I'm giving you time to digest the question while I'm uh, answering some of the uh, inquiries uh, in the Facebook. Yeah. So the giving the homework as an uh, as a new as an introduction for a new concept, it will depend on the objective. Niya. Okay. But again, the question a while ago is misuse. So meaning nagagamit siya, so they're considered to be okay, okay, pero would in the greater extent of the objective of giving homework, consider siyang uh, misuse or improper. So meaning nag pwede siyang gamitin. Okay, pero nag nagkakaroon lang lang proper usage because it sometimes uh, violate the main objective of why we give homework. So I hope I, I'm able to answer uh, Sir John's questions. So it depends on so, no? the so, objective. No? If you think if you think that the learners need to have a prior knowledge kasi medyo mahirap yung uh, new topic na introduce mo and it will be, they will be having a hard time then you may use that to introduce no again the question a while ago is misuse so meaning pwede siyang gamitin Okay sir David I have an answer already Medyo mahaba, no? Sir David, ikaw magbabasa. Okay lang, sir. Hindi kayong una yung sumagat. Hello, Mom Judy. Shout out. Mom Jana. Sir Ab Ab Tas Abtar Singh Nawang. Thank you for joining. Okay. Sir David, would you mind reading that very long <laughs> question? Then identify the stem and the conditions that oh, make you sir. to choose your answer. Go ahead. Um, a third grade teacher taught addition of two two digit numbers with the group at the beginning of the week. She used various hands-on method and paper and pencil practice. On Friday, she gave the students a uh, self-checking practice sheet with a dozen problem of two digit number addition if the student answered the problem correctly they will be able to fill in the answers to a riddle in the worksheet now what is the main purpose of this assignment a increase student accuracy in solving two digit addition problem b decrease the amount of time it takes students to solve problems C. Apply the concept of two-digit addition to world problems. Or D. Increase the student's interest in the concept of two-digit addition. Okay, so you'll... So what is the... Okay, so you'll let me... Uh, okay, the stem uh, of the question. What is the stem of the question? Uh, what's the main purpose? Parang yun yung pinaka-tanong niya. Parang yun yung pinaka... Bakit okay. So okay. if we're going to look at all the choices, lahat ng yan ay purpose, right? All of this is purpose. So meaning, yun yung sinasabi ko na kailangan natin matuto ng law of elimination. Pero yung law of elimination, huwag natin laging gagamitin kung medyo klaro na. Gusto pala ganyan klaro na yung sagot. You don't need to go to the law of elimination. Pero pagka hindi klaro, this will just help us to weigh the possibilities. So, mas magkakaroon tayo ng mas mataas na chance to get the correct answer po. Ha? So, go ahead. Uh, what are you going to eliminate muna? Um, actually, uh, in-eliminate ko ABC. Uh, in-eliminate ko muna yung C. Kasi lahat naman sila mag-a-apply. Lahat naman ng assignment sa math, nag apply ka ng two concept digit. Parang wala pa ako nakitang math na hindi nag apply ng well, math. So, X na kagad si C. Tapos yun di, decrease amount of time. Uh, parang nakikita ko yung ganitong klaseng assessment kapag ka drills. Yung parang common style. Madami talaga. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2. Kahit pa ulit-ulit. It's about speed. It's about skill. Tapos yung A naman, no? accuracy in solving. Parang ganun din. Common din. 
So, bakit pa siya nagpa-riddle kung ang gusto niya pala ay common style? Oh. So, merong, merong question mark or may palaisipan para sa akin tong riddle. Oh. So, ang mas nag-fit sa kanya is to increase student interest. Baka may joke pala yung nung riddle na yun. Or baka promo code siya sa isang nilalaro nila. So, syempre, yung mga sudyante gusto ko agad matapos yung assignment. Yun po, sir. Okay, that's correct. Okay. So, you have uh, you have actually identified common, no? Common. And we know common is a uh, is an established, di ba? When it comes to math talaga, di ba? So, that is curriculum. They have their own curriculum that na nagsimula pa doon sa pinapounder nila. And if you know the history, di ba? Of paano na ito yung common? That is because of the love of the father to his son. Then, you know, that de- de- develop yung, yung common as a strategy, as a curriculum that we have been doing now. Okay? Yeah, medyo may mga tamang sagot. Ano ko yung tamang sagot? Kina natin. Sir, can I share my, ano, my analysis? Yes. Pala? Yes, that's, that, that would be one. I wonder. hope I can correct. Okay, sir. For yes. me, I have to eliminate B, decrease the amount of time it takes students to solve problems, and B also. I will uh, eliminate B and D, boy and dog. Okay. Now, I will, uh, the two best problem for me is A, increase the students' accuracy and apply the concept of two-digit addition to work problems. But now, since the teacher... Uh, gave various hands-on methods so it will uh, lead to accuracy and then it says also that a practice with a dozen problems of two-digit number so I got the two words accuracy and the problems that's why I choose letter A okay that's that's a, a, a nice one mom or uh, the point I hope my answer is correct <laughs> yes that's a very nice one okay so yeah diba As, an, as a teacher, di ba nakikita natin, iba-iba yung ating interpretation dito sa situation na to in a classroom. So curriculum development is like that. We always look, if you are going to look at my question, at a series of my question, as I started my discussion on curriculum development, I, dis- I did not discuss curriculum de- development by definition, but rather I give you the emphasis that curriculum development is talking about the children itself, the learner itself. Bakit nababagong curriculum? Because it needs to meet the needs of the learner. So, math. Yan, math. Ano bang kailangan ng math? Okay? So, in mathematics, ano bang pinakakailangan mo? Paano mo masasabing magaling ka, na, magaling ka sa math? Okay? So, uh, ito yung lagi ko rin sinasabi sa mga bata pag nagre-review for their quiz and math. No? Pag alam nyo na yung process, good. Di ba? Even in, um, in the review in our, uh, here in professional ed, no? in our licensure examination, pag alam nyo na halos, master mo na yung concept, ano yung next mo na gagawin? So the next thing to that is to challenge yourself against time, 'di ba? Challenge yourself against time. No masagot mo yung tanong, gaano gaano ito kahaba dahil sa na-master ko na yung mga technique na binibigay na sa akin ng mga coaches and mentors or dito yung mga nagre-review sa amin. Eh alam ko na kahit gaano kahaba, eto lang yung gagawin ko. Gusto ko yung paliwanag ni Sir David. Na baka, baka meron na ano doon, may um merong naka challenging doon sa, ano, di ba, doon sa riddle. Okay. So, bakit, bakit siya accurate? Kasi, kasi meron ng keyword doon, Sir David. Ano yung keyword doon? Bilikan natin yung talong. Ano kaya yung keyword doon? That would mean accuracy. That it increased your yeah. accuracy. Yes, po, sir. Yung right. dozen of problems. Yes. <laughs> da- dozen of problem? Answer, ano can I answer, po? Yes, go ahead. Um, for me, the keyword here is um, the student to answer the problems correctly. In the problems correct. Okay. For me, lang po, sir. Di ba, nabigyan sila ng hands-on. So, meaning, na-develop na. Hasang-hasa na siya, di ba? So, ano na yung next mo? When you are teaching math, syempre, pinaka-ano natin is matalo natin yung calculator, di ba? Magkaroon tayo ng mental math, di ba? Mas mabilis pa. Di ba, yung malolot lola natin, di ba? Magugulit ka, mas magaling pa sa atin sa math. Okay. So, so accuracy. Ano Sa so, pwede mag-share. Okay, go ahead. Yan, gusto ko yung... Sir, yung nakita ko ng STEM is ano po? Uh, self-checking practice. Correct! Yun ang ating... If the, if the student will check their own uh, practice, then may tendency po na mamastery nila yung two-digit... Uh, ano ba ang tawag dito? Yung two-digit problem kung paano siya isolve. Na accurate. Yes. So, self-checking. 
by their own, di ba? By their own. So, kung meron pang encourage, tama naman Sir David doon, so, encouraging yung Riddle, di ba? Siyempre, okay? Yung Riddle, may encourage ka talaga magsagot, di ba? Yan. Pero, the most important there is that nagkakaroon ka kayo ng your own self-check. Okay? Na mas mabibili, ay, yan, kaya-kaya ko na. Di ba? Kaya-kaya na solve. So, self-check is, yun, yun yung pinaka-ano natin. Self-checking practice with a dozen problem. So, the key word there is self-check. Nalilinig po ba ako sa Facebook Live natin? Ka, kamay-kamay, kamay-kamay. Heart naman dyan kung naririnig po. Okay? Ayan. So, yun, mga sana. Thank you. So, okay po ba? Nag-gets po ba natin yung Russian, simple rationalization ni Sir Mads? So, most of you got it correct. So, again, di ba? Nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, different on how we view the question in our interpretation. Yan. So, self-check. Andun na siya. So, yung read that, eh, pang-inggan. Tama naman, Sir David, pang-inggan nyo yun, di ba? But more of that is yung accuracy mo that you can solve a mental uh, mental math problem in a shortest uh, in a shortest span of time. So katulad din po sa review natin, katulad din sinabi ko, pagka sa palagay mo, ay ready ready na ako. Kasi nga sa uh, ano na ako, kaya ko na sagutan. Ang next mo i-practice ngayon eh magbasa ng mahabang question, uraso mo yung sarili mo, okay? Na makuha mo yung tamang sagot in a shortest span of time para meron ka pang oras na mag-concentrate sa medyo mahirap. Okay? Na, ay, parang hindi ko masyado na-focus itong topic na to. Kailangan, so, kailangan i-devote ko yung time pa dito. So, yan. So, time. Yan naman yung kalaban talaga naman natin sa exam. Yung time. Next. Thank you, Ma'am Jesse. Okay. It is audible. Okay, so I'm uh, encouraging our Facebook Live viewers, uh, 46 Facebook Live viewers, and our Zoom participants. Okay, anyone can unmute their microphone and please read the question. Any volunteer? Yeah, para marinig po natin lahat yung boses, yung nagagandaan natin boses. Come on, don't be shy. Sige po, go ahead. Mom Hermosa, would you mind doing that for us? Okay lang po ba? Sino po kaya? Sir John Mark. Hi, hello po, sir. Good evening hello. po. Hello, good evening. <laughs> okay, sir. Ah. Uh, in teaching a unit on Germany in the 1930s, a teacher wants students to recognize and understand that multiple social, economic, and political factors contributed to the rise of national socialism. After starting the unit, what types of questions should be asked next? So A, why and how, B, how and where, C, what and why, D, what and where. Okay, so what's your answer, Sir John, and why? Um, 
for me, sir, I don't know if it is correct <laughs> because this is the first time I've encountered the question. So for me, sir, it's letter C. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Okay. So what is the style of the question? It's teaching, right? So the teaching a unit in Germany, okay, about yes. Germany. So what would be the conditions or parameters? So lahat ng yan is art of uh, a type of questions, not that we or you're use, using. So as a teacher, we should know about the art of questioning to be able to really unfold the learning no, of our learners para mapaigot-igot natin talaga kung ano yung isip nila para mahasa natin yung kanilang critical thinking. Mom Berlin, okay, let Yan, why and how? That third A. Ayan, iba iba yung sagot. Ano natin? Okay, I will give you time to reflect. Malapit yung sagot ko, sir. Yung sagot ko, letter C. Malapit sa teacher. <laughs> Hello, Ma'am Luis. Mom nga, mom nga ba? Nakalimutan ko na ako, mga worser si, si Ma'am si, si Ma Luis. So, nice to see you again. Okay. So, yan. Ano kaya, bakit kaya what and where? Ano kaya yung conditions na nag-set doon? So, A, A, A. Yung, ano, yung place, sir, kaya may where, Char. <laughs> Take note, in teaching a unit. O, sabi niya, in teaching a unit, pero... Okay, yung why and how. Do you think that would be a, a, a very good questions right away kapag ka, uh, mag-start ka pa lang ng unit? Sir, type of mastery question po kayo yung tinatanong din. <laughs> At, okay, after starting, mastery question. it's not mastery question, after starting the unit, you're actually starting the unit. You are introducing the unit, diba? So, in teaching unit in Germany, the United States, a teacher wants students to recognize and understand the mul that multiple social, economic, and political factors contributed to the rise of national socialism. All right. So, after starting the unit, starting pa lang siya, hindi ka pa nag end So, yung, yung level of questioning natin should be appropriate, no? Uh, even in an online, mag, meron tayong dapat tinatawag na four stages. Okay? In introducing a learning. No? So, in an online, when we introduce a unit, thematic, di ba? Thematic siya. Okay? Thematic siya. Okay? Then, after thematic, it should be organized. Okay? Thematic, organized, okay? Reflective, and summative. So, in the level naman, we will have preparatory. Okay? Preparatory, okay? beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So yung questioning natin should be on that level para na-unfold natin yung learning. So we must start with a very verifiable facts already. So merong mga factual knowledge about this uh, the, uh, topic in Germany. So hindi tayo magsisipulis ng how kagad or why kasi hindi pa natin na-unfold, hindi pa nakikita ng bata clearly paano yung mga factors na to were able to dictate about the culture of Germany. Kaya magsisimula tayo sa simple question of what and where then before we go to how and why. Copy? Get sir yung what? Okay, Sir David. Thematic, organized, reflective, and summative. Okay? So, yung po yung dapat natin pagka nag ano, tayo sa online, thematic. Okay? Merong patutunguhang direction. Organize yung flow. So, it is like what we call understanding by design. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, uh, in this, in the type of the curriculum that we have in the new normal, it is, we are pushing on what we call OB, outcome-based uh, type of curriculum. Okay? So it is being followed by the understanding by design. So kaila, kasi nga ang target natin is work ready and life ready yung learners natin. Hindi lang siya pure theories, more on skills, more on application. So thematic, organized, reflective, and summative. So in the level of, of questioning naman natin, there is a preparatory level. 
even in the in the even in the introduction or in the assessment that we use, we have preparatory, okay, regular or the beginners. Then we have intermediate. At pag gusto na natin subukan yung mga magkakiling natin, high, the high level learners natin, then we go to advanced. Doon naman natin, sa advanced, doon napapasok yung mga real life applications ng mga lessons. Okay. Kung, ba, kung sinabi na sir na Germany, bakit? Where pa po? So, when we say Germany, Germany is a country. So, we are talking about multiple social, economic, and political. Multiple social, economic, and political. Ma'am Luis. Okay. Again, starting of the unit. After starting the unit. Nagsisimula ka pala. So, we, you will go, parang uh, before you create a concept, you know concept map? Okay? Di ba, ito yung isa sa mga bagong ginamit natin, ba, bagong ginamit or in-introduce natin dito sa type of curriculum that we have, doon sa mga books, if you, have, uh, if you have observed in the books, even in our teaching, even in college, meron na tayong tinatawag na graphic organizers na, top, na lesson, di ba? During our time, wala pa masyado or konti pa lang. Pero ngayon, sa mga books natin, may kita nyo kagad graphic organizer or curriculum map, ah, curriculum, concept map kagad. So, ibig sabihin, kahit gano'ng kakapal, gano'ng kakapal yung lesson na to, ito lang yung pinaka- main uh, area na kailangan mong ibigay sa bata. Ika nga, less is more. Copy? So, kaya, bakit, kahit Germany siya, hindi naman, bakit pag Germany? Again, multiple consolidated po. Bago natin makreate yung clear picture about what really happened in Germany during that time. Katulad sa Pilipinas. Pag Pilipinas ba, pag-uusapan mo Pilipinas lang, hindi mo pag-uusapan. Alam ba, pag-aalsa pag sa ng mga iba't ibang uh, iba't ibang tao sa Pilipinas, di ba? So, Pilipinas na siya. So, hindi mo na ba hindi mo ba i-discuss din yung bakit nag-alsa si Dagohoy, bakit nag-alsa si Diego sila or bakit nag-alsa si Salamat, Lakandula. You get the point? So, kahit sinabi Germany siya, marami pa ring uh, kailangan maintindihan yung bata. Okay? Kaya nga ang ano natin ngayon, hindi na history. Ano nang tawag natin? Arpan, araling panlipunan. Lipunan na pinag-aaralan mo. Hindi na ang kasaysayan ng Pilipinas, kundi lipunan. Okay po ba, Ma'am Luis? Copy? Clear po tayo? How about the rest? Yan, thank you. I like that. Mas gusto ko yung nagkakaroon tayo ng alam. Kasi mas nakikita nyo bakit yun yung naging answer. Okay? At ito yung mga things na, na ano natin sa mga review. Tatlo yung sinagot mo ng reviewer. The same question, bakit dito sa author na to iba yung sagot niya dito sa ito na to. Ayan. Again, we need to look at the question. Tama ba? Parehas ba talaga yung pagkakonstruct ng statement? Baka sa unang tingin mo lang tama. Pero meron palang dinagdag tong isang author na to, kaya nabago yung kanyang statement o nabago yung kanyang chosen answer. So yun yung mga titignan natin, yung mga tricky, no? Our eyes are very deceiving. Kaya tinuturo ko sa inyo yung technique na focus on the question. Hello, Jesse. Naloka ako sa question. Okay. So, uh, so ayan. This na natutuwa ko sa dahil sa word na naloka. So, meaning, nag-isip talaga tayo. No? So, because taking an exam is, is applying, it's not memorizing, but it's more of critically analyzing, putting ourselves as a teacher on that situations. Applying the theories that we learn uh, kung bakit ito yung napili natin tama sa God, no? So, yun yung, ano, we go deep. Kaya nga, in a, one of the skills in uh, 21st century learners is critical thinking. Kasi kung hindi critical thinkers yung mga bata natin, paano pa sila makakapag-predict long future? No? What will be, what they are going to invent? Okay? Katulad ko, as a science teacher, no? we have an investigatory project. We are giving the learners the idea to predict ano yung mga pwede nilang invent in the future using the different theories, concepts, and science.
Yes, Ma'am Jana, may public shout out. Ano po yung meron na po kaming idea? Ano, would you mind na uh, elaborating on that? Okay. Ayan. Okay, anyone from the Zoom participants to read the question? Sino po kaya? Ma'am Rosana? Ayan, tatawag, tatawag siya, sir. So I hope the next uh, the next question, may volunteer na po tayo, ha? Hello Ma po, sir. Hello. Good evening po. Good evening po. Good afternoon here yeah. in Saudi Arabia. Good morning. Sir. Yeah, yeah, good afternoon Panic po. Uh -huh. po. Okay, go okay, ahead. Okay po, sir. During the beginning of a unit about the Great Depression for a sixth grade class, which of the following questions would be most effective for representing presenting the new content? Sir, para sa akin ano? Guess lang to sir ha. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Who can give us a definition of depression as in the Great Depression? Parang i-ash mo muna yung student yung meaning po ng depression bago po tayo mag-jump to another question. Okay. So, so I can see Hello. the 30, no, the 30, no, no, no. the 30. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ano pa? Spin na natin. Letter T, letter T, letter T. Come on, oh, Zoom participant, plug in your answers as well as Facebook. Letter T, letter T, letter T. Number six, yes. Please to write the question number, no? Para, ayan. At 30. Mom Hermosa, let 30. Mom, would you, uh, Mom Hermosa, are you there? Would you mind sharing your thought? Uh, why you choose that 30? Before we rationalize. Or anyone from the group? As well as for in the Facebook Live, no, uh, you can type up why you choose letter D or other letter uh, as your answer. But later on, when I when I give my rationalization, eh, thanks this. Yon may nagbago si Sir Lawrence. Sir Lawrence, yeah, tatawagin ko yung nagbago kasi pumasok na siya do sa talagang primary objective na kailangan ma-develop natin sa review. Sir Lawrence. Yes, yes sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, go ahead, sir. So, so nag-change po ako sa C. Not just for para maiba lang, but more on. Para kasing uh, mabigat pong itatanong agad yung letter D. Parang bibigyan ko muna sila ng hint. Uh, parang that I will give them the parang ililid ko lang sila muna doon sa main topic. Parang hindi ko sila bibiglain, kumbaga. Parang ang bigat agad, tanongin mo yung definition eh. Eh, ano bang alam nila doon? So, mga parang may, na, may natandaan ba kayo about Great Depression? Something like that. So, para doon sila magkakaroon ng ano, idea. Some of them will give examples. Or some of them will share the stories they read. Or maybe a video they watch or something like that. All those uh, mga scenarios na pwedeng mag-lead to that topic. Then later on, as a teacher, you can synthesize na. And that's the way you will give you the, the, the exact definition of what Great Depression, uh, depression or Great Depression is all about. Okay, so, that's a very nice one. So, yun, isa kasi ginagawa pa rin yun. <laughs> you <laughs> might, <laughs> ano doon, sir? Ano doon yung ginagawa mo? Yan, di ba? Ayan, yun yung yun, letter Ah, uh, boot nagawa ko kasi yung parang nabibigla, parang nagkakapobia agad yung student. Tatahimik na lang siya na wala yung interest pag binibigla natin sila sa mga topic na out of nowhere you will ask them. Yes. So parang ganun po. Parang ito kasi conditioning yung letter C. Correct. You will okay. condition them to to be part of that topic then later on you will get their interest na, na nagpa-participate na sila. So I, okay. I think that's my my justification for the changing of my answer from D to C. Okay, thank you very much for that, uh, Sir Lawrence. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yes, Ma'am Arlene, correct. Okay, so, ano ba yung conditions natin? During the beginning of a unit, 
So beginning ah, about the Great Depression for a sixth grade class, which of the following question would be most effective for presenting okay, the new content? Presenting the new content. So do you know any movies set during the Great Depression? Where could we go to learn about the Great Depression? Yeah. So actually, yung, um, yung justification or uh, the Sir Lawrence is the same with how I would I justify that, no? Because if we pick that, most of, most of you you choose letter D, no? Who can give us definition of depression as in the Great Depression, di ba? So dito pa lang parang mabibigla na ngayon bata, di ba? Bakay ba yung ano niya so magdadalawang isip na siya. While if you are going to ask them that. Can anyone tell us? So, pero magdi magkakaroon na mas mataas yung level ng participation, mas mara mas maasess mo yung yung mga learners mo na meron na silang alam tungkol dito sa topic na introduce mo. So hindi mo so hindi mo na kailangang palawakin pa sa you are just going to focus more on kung ano yung hindi pa talaga nila na intindihan. Bakit ba nagkaroon ng Great Depression? Kasi sabi ng bata, Sir, nabasa ko sa... Magtatas yung kamay niya. Sir, nabasa ko sa... Or, Sir, napalag ko sa... Uh, pero hindi ko masyado na naintindihan. So, yun. Nagkakaroon ng mas mataas yung level ng interaction. So, pag mas mataas yung level ng interaction, nakapag-participate yung mga bata because they are interested to that topic, then we can really input Okay, we can really input something that will really help them to learn more. So, anong kind of curriculum to? Hindi siya magi, hindi siya learner learner center curriculum, but this is what we call experience curriculum. Right? From their experience, we will be able to introduce this topic or content. Okay, pa. So, kaya oh, ano ko do si Sir Lawrence? Tinawag ko siya kasi nagpalit siya agad. So. Nakita ko na. So ano po ba yung sinasabi ko na in a review, what we develop when we answer a set of questions in a reviewer is two things. What is that? Self-actualization and self-realization. Di ba? Kasi sa unang tingin mo doon sa tanong, may sagot ka na kaagad na naiisip. Pero as you look at it pa more deeply and actualize it to yourself, sabi nga ni Sir Lawrence, Nagginagawa ko kasi ito eh. So nakikita ko yung ano niya. So doon sa mga, so, do mga nakapagturo na, okay? So alam niyo na yung pag ganitong mga question na situational that calls about this, alam mo na paano mo i-a-atake siya. Pero doon sa mga hindi, ilagay mo naman sa sarili mo as a learner. Again, curriculum is all about learner. Okay? Why the curriculum is changing? Because of the learner. Happy po. So, yun lang i-focus natin when we talk, when we read about curriculum development. Kahit gano'ng kalalim yung basahin natin, learner pa rin yung focus mo dito. So, huwag natin bibigla yung bata agad na depression. Baka kasi, deadly, ang laki yung difficulties na kasi yung depression. Baka iba yung meaning ng depression doon, doon sa content. So, wala, walang halos. Parang mas mag i ka pa ng uh, kalituan sa kanila. So, but rather, mas maganda na, can anyone tell us when the Great Depression took place sa yun? Yung mga iba. Yan, magtatas ng kamay, mag-share. Then from that, pwede ka nang, pwede mo na siyang maging strategy, di ba? Pwede, mong, pwede ka nang magpakuha ng post it, okay, sa face-to-face -face post it, or sa online jam board, di ba? Pa-plug in sila ng mga ano nila, sagot nila. Yan. Uh, yun. Ma'am Rosana, yes. Uh, is that serve as a motivation, sir? Yes. Okay, that will serve as a motivation because you are now introducing the topic already. Okay? Copy po. So again, so sa review, ito yung mag-develop natin. Self-actualization and self-realization. So, wag lang tayo sagot ng sagot sa mga reviewer ng mga question. Kailangan ma-realize din natin bakit ito yung naging sagot nung mga uh, gumawa ng tanong. Ma'am Rosanna, meron ka pong question. Would you mind uh, elaborating on that so that I will be able to answer it po? Ma'am Rosana, nandiyan pa ba si Ma'am? Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Would you sir, mind kasi na... ano po, nagpalit po ako ng ano, ng, ano ko po, ng answer ko. Kasi nga, tapos sabi ah. ko, naiintindihan na kaya ng grade, ng grade 6 student yun, yung depression. Okay. That's why you changed to letter C. Kasi letter Apo. D ka kanina, no? Na Apo. you introduced the word kagat depression, which is actually... Apo, pero po na, explain naman po ng maayos. Yun. Thank you. Apo. Salamat po, sir. Salamat welcome, po. Welcome. So next.
So again, um, we always look at the stem of the question and to make it easy for us to weigh the best and the correct answer, the next technique po talaga is conditions or parameters. So yung kanina question, yan tama po si, uh, si Ma'am Marlene. Shout out Ma'am Marlene Bautista Julian from saan po kaya? So letter C is leading the students already for the topic. Okay? And it will induce more active participation. You're involving them rather than presenting to them. Kasi pag kayo definition na, alam, naman, alam naman natin, yung mga bata hindi masyadong ano, sa, sa dictionary, di ba? So medyo ilan lang yung makukuha mo dun. Pero but rather asking them, sa mga bata natin, medyo ano yan, may hilig sa, sa mga history or culture. No? War, yan, tyrants, dynasty. Okay, because of they are introduced to online games. So, ito yung mga talaga nag-drive sa kanila to be inclined to more of social issues. Especially mga naglalaro ng Mobile Legends. No? O kaya yung Dota, di ba? That talks about uh, culture, history. No, Ma'am Evelyn. Ma'am Jana. Okay. Wow, ang galing. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Darrell. Oh, Sir Darrell, ikaw mag-aano siya na. Yun, natutuwa ako kasi. Ayan. Ready ka na, Sir Darrell. Ah. Okay, Sir Darrell. Okay, wala pa. Ayan. Sorry, di na na-excite you so much. Hindi ko na rin time mo ito. Okay, Sir Darren, go ahead. Babasahin ba, sir? Oo, oh, oh, siyempre. <laughs> lagi, lagi tayo simula sa question. Then, uh, some of the question, conditions that make you choose your answer, whether it would, would be correct or not, based on our rationalization later on. Sige, go ahead. Which of the following is most likely to promote student learning of complex process? A. Modeling the whole process followed by guided and independent practice, sir. Law of elimination muna. Oh, law of elimination, ah, law of elimination sir. Uh, diba sabi ka, oh, another technique na tinuro ko, sir, Darrell, diba? Uh, in, in some sir, cases, ano? in some cases, diba? Some cases, baka yung alam mong sagot ay hindi mag-appear. Pero yung other one na sagot ay nandun. So, mas maganda na sa review, eh, alam mo rin yung pangalawang possible answer, di ba? Para pagka na, hindi lumabas yung target answer, nandun pa yung isa na possible target answer, whether it is rephrase or written in a new statement. Pero yung content is yung pare. Go ahead. Sir, ang eliminate ko pa, ano? B and D. Okay, B and? D. D, okay. Kasi po yung B, sabi niya modeling the entire process and having student make a list. So walang walang independent practice na magaganap, walang ano, parang ililist uh, parang gagawa lang ng list yung estudyante about dun sa uh, na observe nilang uh, process. And kay D, giving the student a list of each step the process parang ano parang binigyan mo lang sila ng ano ng ng listahan ng process tapos yun lang walang 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 forward na magaganap walang guided okay tapos so, guys ang sagot ko ay eh. <laughs> bakit A ay bakit C Ano ang sagot? Okay, ma'am, I'll see. Letter C. Which of the values most likely to promote student learning of a complex process? So, ano yung dalawang may iwan? Letter A and letter C. Di ba? Okay. So, ma'am Luis. Ayan si ma'am Luis. What is your answer, ma'am Luis? 
Eh, halos lahat. <laughs> eh, eh, halos lahat. Okay. Wala nang guides. <laughs> okay. Ka- Lando nga lang. Kasi nandun na yung modeling. As a, as a guide already. Diba? Okay. So that's our modeling already. Modeling each step and offering practice between steps. So practice between steps. Nandun na yung independent and guided practice already. Na ano natin. So yung A and C is related to each other. Kaya nga sabi ko sa'yo, pa, paano pagkawala yung, again, di ba? Uh, paano pagkawala yung uh, pinaka-correct uh, answers? Halimbawa, yan, modeling each step and operating practice between the step. That the same with modeling the whole process, okay? Followed by guided, uh, modeling the whole process. Full process kasi yung letter A, full process. Okay? So, Nagpipilihan ko po kasi yung, uh, yung ANC. ANC. Oh, di ba? Eh, so, naakit ako nung independent practicer. <laughs> Yun. Okay. Modeling each step and offering practice between the steps. Hindi yung cool ka agad. Siyempre, di ba? Hindi mo agad ano. Darrell, nandun na yung word mo. Ano yung word mo? Scaffolding. So, pag scaffolding, full process ba yun? Hindi. Step by step. scaffolds. Okay? Copy? Yes po. Copy po? Yes. Dahil sa whole process, di ba? Yan. Thumbs up po. Kung naliwanagan po tayo. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Pwede pong magtanong ha. Pwede pong mag... Uh, the more questions that we have, The more chance of winning. The more chance of winning. The more we will be able to really go deeply doon sa ating ano. So the way I explain it, it's not theoretical. Hindi more on theories. No? More on how you will deal with the question. Again, situation na siya. Let's put ourselves to that. Next. So ito yung one of the questions na medyo gusto kong i-discuss. Okay? Kasi... Uh, maraming nalilito dito. Madali lang yung prof ed sir basta walang metacognition. Ha? Madali lang yung prof ed sir basta walang metacognition. <laughs> metacognition is what we are actually doing now. Okay? Thinking outside the box. We're not just not we, we are not containing ourselves periodically on what is being explained on the book but rather we are looking forward on how we will apply it. Kasi lisensya, di ba? So parang doctor din, di ba? Paano, paano mo, bago makuha ng doctor yung lisensya, alam, marunong siya mag-opera. At hindi lang marunong mag-opera, alam niya kung an, pa, ano yung magiging uh, advantage, disadvantage, ano yung mga magiging mali, paano yung susolve yung mga mali. Okay? How to react to the different situations or cases, di ba? So alimbawa, doctor ka, tapos na-encounter ka ng operation, tapos hindi mo pa na pag-aralan, ano yun, tatapo ka ng library para basahin yun. Bago mo operan, hindi, di ba? So, kaya kailangan natin tingnan. So, that's why we are doing metacognition already. Okay? Thinking outside the box. <laughs> yes. Kaya nga sabi ka sa review, we, we need to develop self-realization and self-actualization. So, in review, we need to, yun na-learn natin, I unlearn natin ng konti and we relearn something. Let us absorb. Kaya nga sabi sa inyo, ask question. Kasi alam ko meron na kayong nalalaman tapos makukumpis ka. So mas gusto ko magtanong ka para maibigay ko sa iyo yung pinakamalinaw na makukonvince kita. I'm not, I'm not here to convince you that this is the correct answer. But I'm giving you the gist or the primary words na or conditions or parameters. Bakit siya yung naging correct answer? na pag nirebat mo, hindi mo kailangan ng mahabang paliwanag. Ito lang yun eh. Diba? Ito lang yung pinaka paliwanag kung bakit. Okay? Parang pag sa batas, diba? pag ka nasa korte ka, article or section lang pag ano mo. Yes, it's more of meta-audition. Oh, Marlene. Hello, Ma'am Marlene. Kamusta? Parang hindi ko pa nakakasama sa Zoom si Ma'am Marlene. If I remember it right. 
Okay, yan. So, this is one of the question na merong dalawang magkaibang sagot, no? Kaya gusto ko siyang i-discuss. So, in the elementary level, English literature and social studies relates well. While history is being studied, different literary piece during the historical period is being studied as well. What curriculum design is shown here? So, these are the different uh, type of curriculum design. So, paano natin, pag sinabi natin curriculum is, how are we going to, uh, to teach to the learners? Diba? So, ang daming subject, di ba? And ngayon, in the, in the curriculum, pabago-bago yung subject. Sa K-12, ito yung tawag natin sa subject natin. Pagdating ng senior high, eh, iba na yung subject, uh, ang math nila. Hindi na nila tinatawag ng mathematics, business mathematics na. Kasi they are being taught already on how to apply math in to be a work ready and life ready. Okay? Kaya nga sabi ko doon sa isa, doon sa labas, doon uh, sa isang tweet, di ba, na statistics ituturo na sa grade 1. Kasi nga, gamit na gamit yung statistics sa kahit saan ka magpunta. Pag nag sa company, pag gumawa ka ng, pag naging teacher ka, item analysis, statistic. Ayan, at ang statistics, ang pinakaayaw natin. Pero yun ang pinakaimportante. Even in the, in the, in the stocks, di ba? Yung mga nag, uh, foreign exchange, yung mga stock market, yan, statistics. So eto, eto yung laging dalawang, eto yung question. So meron ako nakita ang paliwanag. Eto yung sagot kasi diniscuss na, ah, nasa libro namin, nasa reference namin. So yung basihan mo, yung reference mo. Diba? Pero, tingnan natin kung ano yung pinaka ano dito. Again, ang tinuturo ko sa inyo is conditions and parameters po. No? So, the correct answer there is correlation design. Yan. Correlation design. So, separate subject design, alam na natin yan. Okay? They, they are being taught by their own. Okay? Meron silang kanya-kanya hati yung oras ng math, science, and everything. Hindi siya integrated. Now, Ang matatanggal dito, ang laging pinaglala, pinaglalaroan dito sa ganitong uh, type of question is yung broad field is tatanggalin mo siya. Okay, broad field is a def definition of correlation. So broad field is wider integration. So kaya ang nagiging pinaglalabanan dito is discipline and correlation. Okay? So pag broad field, uh, Daryl, wide yung kanyang coverage. No? wider yung coverage ng kanyang integration. So, doon sa malahita kong ano, di, di ba nag-upload si Teacher A, di ba? So, yung, thank you Teacher A doon sa pag-upload. Di ba yung sa list ng mga, yung sa, uh, ano yan, scope, scope of, scope of licensure exam. Ito yung isang, isang question doon. Tapos nakita ko merong comment. Kaya sabi ka, ah, gusto kong i-discuss to. Kasi ito rin yung pinaka gusto talaga i-discuss. No? Uh, correlation siya, bakit? Nandun, may keywords na siya. Ano yung keywords na titingnan mo doon? That is the word relates well. Diba? Relates well. Two courses, yes. Two courses that are of different subject, of different discipline, but they re relates well. There is, there is a relation. There is an integration. That kapag pinag-aralan mo, yung English literature is kasabay na nun yung history. Diba? Parang katulad ng, ng ngayon sa online, no? Sa online, yung, or sa modular, yung Florante at Laura, di ba? Isa sa mga ano ng meds ng Florante at Laura is yung kaligirang pangkasaysayan ng Florante at Laura. Or in, pag, nung panahon natin, ang Florante at Laura, paborito ko yan, Florante at Laura is kwento ng pag-ibig. Di ba? Pero, sinasalamin din nun yung kasaysayan. So with the use of panitigan is nandun din yung yes, pag, may, pag, any, pag many courses is broad field. Correct. Mas wide yung coverage niya. Okay? Yung science, magka-cover pa siya ng wider humanities, anthropologies, and everything. So, yun. So dito, kaya discipline design kasi bakit discipline design? Kasi they belong to the same discipline. That's Kaya yun yung isang paliwanag dyan. Pero the best answer here is correlation because they because of the word, while history is being studied, different literary pieces also during the historical period are being studied. Paliwanag po. So that's why hindi na natin pagtatalunan yan, correlation talaga yan. Happy? So again, bakit nagiging discipline? Because they belong to the same discipline. Pero in the use of the question, it is clearly defined by the parameters na habang pinag-aaralan ng history, eh kasabay nun, napag-aaralan din yung iba't ibang literary pieces during that different historical period. 
yung mga enlightenment, di ba? Yung mga renaissance time, okay? So, alam na alam natin yung gamit. Kaya yung panitikan, hindi natin matanggal-tanggal, di ba? Hindi natin matanggal-tanggal yung pagbasa, yung literature, di ba? Hindi natin matanggal-tanggal yan. Sino yung ayaw ng literature? Meron ba na ayaw ng literature? Sino, meron ba sa atin na nagtanong, ba, saan ko ba gagamitin yung literature na yan? And take note, accordingly, uh, successful people are those people who love to read books. Why? It is not about memorizing the books, but when we read books, we are we are more to see a clear picture of what is happening in the society. Siyempre, pag histo history books yan, hindi mo na masyadong babasa niya kasi dahil sa mga date, dahil sa mga people, di ba? Pero pagka ginawa mo siyang more on narrative way, yan, mas ma may inganyo kang magbasa. Inasyo, eh, yung pala, dinidiscuss na sa'yo is societal issues already. Copy po. So they belong to this basic thing. They talk about society. Culture. So, thumbs up if it's clear. Yes, correct, Ma'am Marty. Okay. Again, don't uh, don't forget to plug in your answer. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yo, nakita ko na. Uh, nakita ko na po na nag apply na yung pinuturong technique ni Sir kasi nakita ko na na sinusulat niya na yung uh, conditions or parameters before you go to the correct answer. So that is curriculum improvement. Okay. So ano yung uh, what process being undertaken by a curriculum developers? Again, teach, we teachers are curriculum developers. We we are the one who knows what is best kasi tayo yung nasa field, di ba? Tayo nakakita doon sa mga changes sa mga estudyante natin. So, kaya, pwede tayo mag-suggest kung ano yung kind of curriculum that we will have. Okay. So, process of undertaking the curriculum developers that enrich or modify. Yun, enrich or modify. Pagka pinili mo kagad yung enrich or modify, mostly, malilito ka na, ang pipuntahan mo kagad dyan is change. Pipili mo na kasi enrich, modify. Change ka agad yung sinasabi niya. Aspects of particular program. Pag hindi mo tinapos yung statement, nag-focus uh, nag ka lang doon, nakita mo na, ay, nabasa ko to sa book. Enrich, modify. Change ka agad to. Dito, implementation, kasi alam ko yung implementation, gagawin na. Dito, design, kasi nag-ano na siya, undertaken na, nag-develop na siya. Okay? So, pagka nag-stick ka lang doon sa English or modify, change na. Pero, pag tinapos mo, andun na yung conditions or parameters. Particular program without changing its fundamental conceptions. So, you are just improving. Yan. So, you are just improving your curriculum. Okay? from this kind of this type of curriculum that you have is nakita pa po ba yung screen ko? Medyo nag, uh, nag close yung monitor ko. Give yes, me a thumbs up. Yes, okay, thank you. So, sabi ni Sir na, sana ganyan lang sa actual. Again, prop ed questions, minimal lang yung mga def, by definitions, my dear, uh, LPTs, no? aspiring LPTs. More on meta-audition talaga siya, situational. Okay. As I said nga, simple explanation ko lang, lisensya, yung kinukuha natin, kailangan medyo, meron tayong alam, embrace natin. At hindi naman, na, hindi naman matatapos doon eh, kasi as, as, as long as we are teaching, may mga pagbabago, may mga pagbabago. Okay? So, we will not stop learning about that. Kasabay na din din, kasi learners natin nagbabago. Kaya magbabago rin tayo ng 
approaches, strategies, pedag pedagogies, yun yung mga words na natin na ano. Ito, isa rin tong question doon na maraming nag-comment uh, nag na dapat ito sagot, dapat ito sagot. Eh, walang paliwanag. Kaya dito, papaliwanag ko sa inyo bakit ito yung sagot. Okay. Yes, Ma'am Arlene, would you mind reading the question? Ma'am Labonete? Yeah, si Ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay, I will read yes, first. Po. Yes, po. Which of the following statements about the concept of curriculum is not quite acceptable? A, it consists of everything that goes within the school. B, it refers to all experiences that both the school and the teacher provide the students with C, it is a planned action for instruction, or D, it is the set of acquired knowledge, habits, and skills. So I will uh, eliminate C and D because, you know, this planned action for instruction is very important for curriculum and D also it's a, a set of acquired knowledge. So also B, I have to eliminate now. So for me, my answer is A, but I'm not sure because we cannot say it, it consists of everything that goes within the school. Of course, there should be always a scope, no? We cannot say everything. So my answer is A, okay. my guess. Okay. Yes, that's a, a nice one. Any other? Uh, Sir David, how about you? Sir David, sir? Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. How about that? Ayun. Uh, sagot ko po B. B. Sir, yung... Okay naman yung... It refers to all experience that both the school... Okay, yung school. Nga lang, pati experience ni teacher nandun sa curriculum, I believe dapat nandun yun sa lesson plan. Kasi paano yun? Yung experience ni teacher A, teacher B, teacher C. E paano pag magkakaiba sila ng approach? Ano yun? Pa magkakaparehas ba sila ng... Uh, yung material nila yung uh, whether powerpoint or manila paper magkakaparehas ba sila so I believe that is lesson plan not curriculum guide or curriculum plan yun lang po sir kaya B yung okay. tinanggap ko okay. X din po sa akin yung CND okay. same rational po with ma'am okay thank you for that so what's the correct answer okay iba rin yung mga sagot natin sa Facebook live viewers natin Hey. All about hidden curriculum. <laughs> okay. So, the correct answer, which of the following statement about the concept of curriculum is not quite acceptable. So, <laughs> Sir David, and then yung, yung reaction niya kagad na ano, tumatawa. Okay. So, so kay Sir David, ang kanyang ano is, uh, nag-ano siya doon sa it refers to all experiences that both the school and the teacher provide. So, sabi niya, Sir, but pati yung teacher, Sir, nandun sa curriculum. Okay, so bakit yung teacher is involved in curriculum? Because we are the one developing, the, we are the curriculum designer, we are the curriculum developer. Teacher is not just a teacher, but we are also a curriculum designer and developer. And as I said, curriculum is the children. So by simply looking, assessing our learners, then we will be able to create some uh, interventions no, we will be able to create some interventions that we might be able to suggest or propose, di ba? To help, to help or to be part of the curriculum. For example, uh, from from the curriculum guide that we have, di ba? Nam nam napakarami during the pandemic or in the new normal, 
we have the MELC, the Minimum Essential Learning Competencies. So, paano ba nila drain up down to sa napakaliit? Because of what? Because of the primary criteria of resilience, endurance. So, meaning less is more. So, we focus on the essential, yung kailangan magamit ng mga bata in time of this pandemic or crisis. Hindi mo kailangan i-infuse lahat yung topic. More on skills ang matidevelop nila. So, sino ang makakapagsuggest kung ano yung mga dapat na, ah, eto dapat, eto yung dapat natin, eto yung ano nila dapat na gawin nila. Kasi, so teachers will be able to see that. That's why in the Philippines, meron tayong tinatawag, so those mga teachers sa, the, sa Philippines na nagtuturo, we are, you are very, uh, you are actually encouraged to undertake action research. No? You are encouraged to undertake action research. Bakit? Yung action research nyo kasi, that would serve as an intervention and that intervention will be used as an opportunity, as a window and can be a wide door for a new curriculum. Maliwanag po. And again, curriculum is not just in school. Curriculum can be of this the different level. There is an institutional curriculum. There is societal curriculum. Okay? There is instructional curriculum. So, pero ano ba yung curriculum? Bata, experiences that we can share to our learners. Or we can bridge out gap, learning gaps with our learners. Okay? So, Sir David, doon ka nag-post sa iba teachers. So, da, da, kami nagyata na rationalization na Siyempre, di ba? Kaya nga, pag during inset, merong mga uh, sharing best practices. Kasi hindi lahat ng teachers gumagamit ng pare-pares na strategy. Nag-work to sa ano, so share natin. Okay, baka yan yung secret paano, paano ma-enhance, may taas yung level natin. The, sa science and math, di ba? And, yeah, as well, in English, di ba? Doon sa tinatawag natin PISA. Are you aware with PISA, di ba? Maraming magagaling na Pilipino when it comes to math, science, and English. But when it comes to PISA, we rank the lowest do sa tatlong yung. At magtataka ka, China, hindi naman na, uh, hindi naman magaling sa English, pero number one. Then Singapore, hindi na natin sila, the number one talaga sila sa math because of uh, their curriculum way. No? Modeling kasi yung style ng math nila. So tayo, sa tayo kasi medyo hindi tayo nagmamodeling dati. Pero ngayon, nagkakaroon na ng modeling approach. Kasi yung modeling, yun yung magiging uh, fundamentals ng algebra. Kaya madali na yung algebra nga sa mga bata pagka nagsimula sila sa modeling. So, yun. Tama po yung mga sagot ng iba, letter A. So, yun. So, learners talaga. Pagka-curriculum, bakit? Pag tinanong ka, bakit nagbabago curriculum? Kasi nagbabago yung learners. Okay? So from a, from a construct from a constructivist view through a progressivist view kaya merong UBD, merong K212, merong Finland, iba na namang curriculum yung ginagamit nila which is the country with us a very nice curriculum. Kasi nakikita nila yung kailangan, ano yung kailangan ng kanilang bansa through their learners. Yes, it's a broad field. Correct, my word. The broad field is yung dupo sa uh, sagot ni Ma'am Arling kanina. Doon sa question ko kanina, question number 10. Na. Continuation lang ng pag-recognize uh, ko pa ng sagot. So, thank you. So, ito, mag-perfect natin yan. Okay. So the correct answer is May nakamali. What type of curriculum divides the school day into different periods such as language, art, social studies, science and health, arithmetic? Yan. So walang integration, walang compartmentalization. So 
they are considered to be a separate subject because of the word divide. Okay. So, ano po yung discipline? Discipline is they belong to the same areas. Kaparang katulad ng kanina, literature and literature and history. They belong to culture. Ah. Okay. Broad field, wider. May ini courses yung involved. Parang katulad ng STEM, STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. So broad, broad yung coverage niya, di ba? Pag, nag, uh, pag gusto mong maging chemist, kuha ka ng STEM. Pag gusto mo nang maging accountant, APM, di ba? Pag gusto mo ng hotel rest restaurant management, correct me if I'm right, no? Humes or humanities, meron din, meron din tayong vocational din, di ba? So maraming strands. So separate subject siya. So, yan. Balikan natin itong mga ito, no? Yung separate subject, pwede rin siya, sometimes ginagamit nila is core subject. So, so, as you can see, no? The way how I, uh, how I created the questions in the curriculum development review focuses on learner. Kasi the curriculum is the learner itself. Yung is slow. Yun. Yan. humanities na. Tama ba pronunciation ko, Yums? Baka mag-pronounce ko ng, ng Yums Hums pala. No? <laughs> so, Yums. Tech box. Yan, meron na tayong tech box strand. So, take note. Okay, focus on the question, identify the keywords, then the conditions or parameters set. Ayun, yan, valid answers. So, yan. Sino pa po pwede magbasa para, yan, sino pa? Ma'am Queen? Hello, Ma'am Queen. Ma'am Queen. Si Ma'am Queen. Yes, yes, yes. Sino po? Po. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Before elementary students start reading a new book about baby dinosaurs, which of the following activities would best assess prior knowledge and stimulate student interest? Para po sa akin, sir, eliminate kung sir ang D. Okay. At saka po, um, C. Okay. C. Ang, ang, ang answer ko po, sir, ay B. Uh, the answer so is letter, yung, okay, B. letter B. B po yung answer. Apo. Apo. Show, the, show students a photo of a dinosaur and ask them if they have ever read any stories about baby dinosaurs, sir. Kasi from, di ba, pag ano pa lang um, sa mga elementary or sa mga baby or Like sa, for example, sa mga anak ko for five years old, pinapasyo ko muna yung mga ano, yung mga, mga, mga pictures ng mga dinosaur. May books ako nun. Tapos, gano'n ko na yung mga stories sa kanila. Binirig ko yung stories. Kasi sir, yung sa may C tsaka D, sir, show students a movie about dinosaur. So, not, hindi naman po pa, feasible yung i-ano mo siya sa movie kung hindi naman available po dun sa classroom. Tapos yung di naman po, take students sa museum. Sir, parang ano, idadali mo silang lahat doon sa museum, museum parang ganun. Okay. Kaya, di po yung sagot ko. Uh, any other? Uh, sige po. Any other pa po? Uh, mukhang nawala yung question ko. Sorry for that. Let's 
So, okay, before I manage to let's start reading a new book about baby dinosaurs, which of the following activists would best assess prior knowledge? So, prior knowledge, siya, di ba? Prior knowledge. Siya. So, so, what we will be eliminating is, so, siyempre, tanggalin na natin yung letter D, okay? If it's not possible to have them into the museum, okay? Then, prior knowledge and stimulate student interest. And, kasi pag nila mo sa, sa museum, uh, medyo, not unless if you have uh, some set of questions, no? That you can use as your assessment or as your way of introducing your topic pagdating mo sa classroom. Eh, minsan, pag nasa museum lang, uh, nakatingin lang yung bata, nag-enjoy lang, di ba? So, kaya pag nag-field trip nga, ang answer just is meron tayong uh, guide questions na dala or given to the students. Kapag sila pupunta. So, yan. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me just fix my screen po, ah. Kasi medyo nag-witch uh, yung aking... Okay, yan. So, ano ko yan? Sagot. Let me see the answers of our A, A, B, B, B. Let's see. The correct answer here is letter B. Yes, correct. So, so show studies, show students a photo of dinosaurs, di ba? So, pagka walang photo at kaya mo mag-draw, ayan, pwede, ka nang, pwede mo piliin yung A. Prior knowledge na, di ba yun yung... Yes, go ahead. So, yung prior knowledge, di ba po, other term yung schema? Yes. So, di ba, alam nyo naman yung mga bata natin, maraming mahihilig sa dinosaurs, di ba? Sino may, kahit kayo, di ba? Actually, may mas dyante ako pagka may kita mo talaga, pagka nag-discuss na lang about sa animals, tatalong talaga sila. So, did the dinosaurs really exist? Man? Ganun talaga. Just asagutin ko lang, uh, dinosaurs still with us, but they are not as big as what we know. They just evolved. Yan. Parang katulad nyo, when you're a baby, you evolve, you grow, yan, because the environment is changing. So, hindi sila nakapag-adapt, nagbago sila. So, yan, mga ganun. So, kasi hindi naman tayo na buhay sa panahon ng dinosaurs and we are just believing you know, that. So, to be able to really introduce the, uh, the lesson na mayroon pa rin dinosaurs, mayroon naman mga uh, evidence yung mga process, no? So, the correct answer here is letter B. You see? Okay. So, kung may po nag-choose ng A, it's okay, no? Okay? Pero kung, kung may pictures ka, mas okay yung pictures, di ba? Because pictures tells a thousand stories. Baka so, sir, yung dinosaur maging butiki kasi. <laughs> Oo, oh, yung, yung dinosaur baka naging butiki. O di at least, no, pwede mo lang sabihin, the, the uh, boss with, sir, sir, is that a dinosaur? Uh, it looks like an alligator. Does the, do they look the same with the dinosaur? Do they have the same characteristics? Parang ganun, di ba? Baka yung, uh, baka yung dinosaur maging dragon. <laughs> yun, di ba? So, yan. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Yan. So, very good. Yan. Next. So, we're nearing. Yan, malapit na tayo. So, ito yung ginagawa ko. Kaya po, makikita nyo when I'm starting uh, my, my review uh, para tayong nagka-class. Kasi I want you to feel that we are actually in, in a classroom talaga. No? Kasi yung kari siya everyone to, to be involved. Okay, please plug in your answer. A, 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 A. Okay, in teaching a lesson, it is helpful to share the objectives with the students because doing so, okay. So, ito yung isang, ano natin, no? uh, I, I don't know if you can remember during your time or na kung nakikita natin, pre-present ng teachers sa, sa board, yung, ano yung objective, ano yung layunin, 
na matututunan natin ngayon, di ba? Pero in this uh, in our time now, it eto yung isang bagong teaching, no? Na kailangan pinipresent natin yung objective. Bakit ba? Ba't kailangan i-present yung objective? Okay. So, ano yung tatanggalin natin? So, tanggalin natin si Importante ba yung let students organize their notes, their notes with appropriate headings? So, hindi, di ba? So, eliminate na yun. Letter C, organize the lesson in a predictable way. Okay. So, may iwan is letter A and letter D. So, sa dalawa, sinong mas talagang appropriate re uh, reason why we need to introduce objectives or target competencies or learning goals? Letter D. Yes. Learning goals or the learning targets. Para alam ng bata, ba't ko ba ito pinag-aaralan? Hindi na siya di na siyang magtatanong, bakit ko ba pinag-aaralan nyo? Saan ko ba gagamitin niyang X na yan? Okay. How, when I'm going to use that finding X pag nagtrabaho ako? Diba? So, we need to set a way, a path for our learners. Kasi curriculum is experiences. No? Experiences. So, learning is best defined or justified well when there is a change in attitude. And when there's a change in attitude, that is because they experience something. So that is the best manifestation of learning. So kaya dito, more than the answer of letter A, that they are ready, it is more important that we show objective because there is your target goal. Ito yung pinaka-target goal mo. And with this, kaya meron na tayong tinatawag sa lesson plan, yung mga nagla-lesson plan na ngayon, no sa yung bagong form ng lesson plan, meron na tayo sa baba as a teacher, self-reflection. Yung self-reflection natin will be in relation with alignment rather to our objective and to the development of our lesson. So para alam natin kung na-meet natin yung goal natin to our learners at kung yung learners natin is be able to at least 75% reach the target goal. Yan. So learning goal yung pinakaanan natin. So dito sa atin sa review, competencies yung ano natin. And you have seen yung learning targets natin. So, may kita nyo, sure yung learning targets natin, pero hindi siya nagde hindi definition yung ginamit natin, puro situations. Pero nandun yung learning targets natin. Kasi again, situational ang problem. Not uh, book-based or fill the blanks na tatanggalin mo lang yung ano, nerephrase lang hindi. Okay, so plug in your answer, and I hope uh, someone will be able to read question. Sino pa po ba? Sir LG, Sir LG. Yeah, thank you for our Zoom participants, 49 Zoom participants. Thank you for your answers. Mom Evelyn, Mom John, Mom Ma, ah, sir, John is sorry. Okay, on lang, which assignment will best? Again, and yung word na best, no? Determine if students can analyze what they are learning. Analyze. So, highest level. Okay? Bloom's taxonomy is highest level. So, analyze. When we say analyze, ano kaya yung pinaka main uh, evidence that they were able to analyze? Taking down what they are learning. Taking down what they are learning. Paano mo na masabi na they were able to analyze what they learned? Yes, very good. Hot, high-order thinking skills. Yes, that's correct, ma'am ma ma Labonete. Okay, that's why, again, we're going back to the four C's of 21st century learners, critical thinking, 
creativity, and collaboration, and communication. So they will be able, when we say they learn, because of their experience, they will be able to communicate, collaborate, and use their metacognition or critical thinking. So the correct answer is letter B. Okay. Create a storyboard that explains, influence the development of Latin America. Okay. In letter D, this, um, describe. So describe. So creating is the highest level of analyzing. Okay on what is happening, highest level. So, define knowledge level lang siya. Okay, knowledge level lang siya. Yun. So, tama yung ating participants as well as our Facebook Live viewers. Last question na po. Uh, I will be taking much, much of your time. Okay, so please plug in your answer. Okay, so participants, thank you for being with me in our review this afternoon. Okay. Sir AJ. Hello, Sir AJ. Would you mind reading our question? Hello, Ma'am Elsie. Shout out. Ma'am Cha, Ma'am Ma Isabel, Sir Erwan. Okay. Okay. Sir A. Okay. So take note. This is all about Cognitive strategy. Cognitive strategy. Yun. Sir David, um, we will end up our session with our DJ. <laughs> Sir David, go ahead. Sir, ano? Uh, Please do read. Please do read, Willi sir. Ah, right. An elementary school teacher wants to give students a cognitive strategy for correctively, correctly, sorry, correctly spelling the word it's and it's which of the following is the best example of cognitive strategy a discriminate between possessive and contraction and spell accordingly b substitute it is in the sentence if it fits use an apostrophe if not use no apostrophe letter c give students a fill in the blank worksheet to practice on and d lead students in a choral response of court usage while they also read from a handout. Go ahead, sir. Your justification. Um, Inalis ko na, sir, yung D. Kasi parang... Yes. Um, parang ang stem, stem of the question is best example of cognitive strategy. Cognitive strategy parang technique or yes. style of parang. mental technique. Parang ko yes. na 12 plus... 10, ang uh, magiging parang 10 plus 10 plus 1. Parang ganun, no? So, ano yung cognitive strategy in terms naman sa English? Parang yun yung pagkakaintindi ko. So, syempre, mas madali yung B. Kasi, technique siya, eh. Subdigit mo, go, basagin mo yung it is, gawin mong it, tsaka is. Pagka okay, okay. Pagka hindi, mali. Yung C, drills. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Correct, 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 correct. <laughs> yung, yung A naman, parang discriminate between possessive, tsaka contraction and spell accordingly. 
Ah, uh, yun nga yung nahihirapan siya, eh. nahihirapan siya mag-discriminate. So X na ulit 'yon, no. Tapos yun, yung D, yun nga, ma 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 oras <laughs> para <laughs> para sa mga chatte. Para madapat pa tayong tuturo pag correlating na kagad tayo. So ayun po, sagot ko po is letter B. Okay. So based on that, 'di ba? Based on that you are answering not by theories, 'di ba? We are answering based on how you interpret the question and how you interpret the answers. Okay. So, the correct answer is letter B. Okay. So, take note, it is a strategy. So, letter D, that would not be, that would not be considered strategy. When we say strategy, it is on your own way. No? You, you will be able to impart it to your learners. Now, letter A, discriminate between possessives and contractions. It's, more, it's not a strategy, but it is more of a law or rules. Diba? Parang mga subject verb agreement na rules. Yes, Di ba? Da, dati, ilan lang yun eh. Apat lang. Ngayon, walo na ata. Baka sa susunod, magiging proud na. Di ba? Because of growing um, uh, type of uh, grammarians. Okay? Then yung letter C, yun, drills naman siya. So, yung drills, it doesn't mean that uh, when we give a lot of drills, especially English pa, spelling, is uh, we will be able to create really a very good strategy. So, yun nga, that's the very, the very simple that is to substitute it is in the sentence if it fits, use an apostrophe, it's not. So, yun po yung ano natin. So, the way you explain it, Sir, uh, Sir uh, David, is you are, uh, you are actually putting your experience and interpretation. So, hindi siya theories talaga. Di ba? So, and I know most of these questions medyo ngayon lang natin encounter, pero with the, with the different technique that I have given you, I hope you were able to use that. So, So I will end up our session with, uh, with this. And I hope you enjoy our session uh, with me this afternoon. So to end our session, thank you to our Facebook Live viewers. Uh, I would ask for some feedback. Okay, feedback is very important. No? Uh, as a teacher, this is one thing that we should de develop. Okay, uh, why there is a very, sabi nga, uh, So, ano namin, lesson namin, bakit napakalaki ng learning gap between teachers, assessment, and learners, di ba? Because walang dialogue, no? feedback and dialogue. We should give also time to listen to some suggestions of our learners so that we will be able to really cater to what they need. So, yeah. Kaya pag kami nagsasuggest sa akin, Sir Leira, hindi po kayo masabay sa quizzes, sa kahoot. Kaya yan, nag-powerpoint na lang, sir. So I sacrifice on getting the data and analytics to be able to really see kung saan kayo nahihirapan. Kasi pag kakalikwisas, nag-doubt ako, makikita ko na kagad. Sa so, nagdadalawang isip yung tao. So again, may emphasis ko. Bakit ito yung PP hindi mo dapat i-eliminate? Dapat i-stay mo siya. So yun. Kaya, yan. So anyone? Uh, Ma'am Marlene. Yes, Ma'am Marlene. Can I ask some feedback? Yes, Ma'am Marlene. They welcome. Are you asking me, Sir Majid? Yes, Ma'am Arlene Labonete. Ma'am Labonete, your guess... feedback, your learning experience yeah, for me, with me? Yeah, actually, you know, the question is uh, somewhat difficult. But if we will do the proper reading and analyze it, actually, the answer is in the by the elimination, right? You have to remove the two wrong answer and then choose the best from the remaining two. And aside from that... Um, As I am learning, by the way, I'm just new here and I'm not finished with my PCP. I am just a kindergarten a status here, no? Hindi pa talaga mag exam But I'm doing my review now. So in this way, I'm trying to learn that we really have to read the question properly and understand it or understood it without the given um, answers down. And that from that answers, we really have to the elimination and we will choose the best answer from the remaining two with the keyword itself. So I really appreciate Sir Majid and thank you very much for your help also. Welcome, ma'am. How about our, the flow of our review on how I deal with the review? It's more of I describe, more of uh, more of situational and uh, I don't explain it periodically, more on situational, more on experience level. Na madali yung uh, maget yung idea. Is it okay with you? Anyone? Any other feedback? Yes, Sir David. Go ahead. 
Yes, go ahead. Sir, no, uh, for me, this is nice po. Kasi uh, usually po pag ako na, bumibili tayo ng review. Puro sila theory. So, this is a new perspective na madami din po akong co-faculty na nagsabi. Madami din sa board exam about experience na hindi naman nakikita sa pag bumili tayo ng review sa National Bookstore, ganyan. So, I find it very amusing and find it enriching. Yun po, sir. Thank you very much. So, Thank you din po, sir. So, I hope uh, everything is doing good in our review and I hope I were able to impart some of the technique uh, and I hope you will be able to practice more on those technique. Yun nga, the first thing is talaga, takpan nyo muna yung, kahit sa reviewer nyo, no, takpan nyo muna yung choices, focus kayo sa questions. And if you have mastered the questions already, the different topics, this time naman is to challenge yourself by answering the questions na by putting some time. Mag-time na tayo. No? Ilang seconds or minutes ko sasagutin yung tayo. Okay, with that, uh, have a nice day. Um, pwede po bang ma-ask ko yung lahat ng ating L aspiring LPTs, our L dear LPTs, to open their cup for just a group picture taking? Yung. Hello, Ma'am Labonete. Yan. So, yeah, picture tayo. So, I hope next time we will we have a review po. Mas marami pa pong magbabasa. Ayun, si Sir Lawrence. Nakon, totoo talaga. Totoo talaga ang kasabihan. Hindi lang, hindi lang sa artista may gwapo. Pat, most of, lahat talas ng mga teachers daw gwapo. Ayan, Sir Lawrence. No? Mm -hmm. Sir David. Sir David din. Yeah. Ayan. So, don't be shy po. Paki-open lang po yung camera. Okay, ready? And one, two... Let me stop sharing so that we will not be able to get the one. Okay. Sir Darrell, hihintay ko yung word na scap holding to sa paliwanag mo. Okay, one, two, three, and smile. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. Take care. Salamat po, sir. Salamat po. Have a nice day ahead. Well, good evening, Thank good you, evening everyone. Good afternoon. Ah, yung gabi sa tanan. It's okay, Sir David. Thank you for participating. Sir Tarel, talagang meta coordination part yan. Eh. Also, our Facebook Live viewers, thank you very much. And thank you, Teacher A, for the uh, sessions for today. Sir Rocky, also, for being our moderator and uh, our show. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Ma Martin, for that very uh, warm uh, uh, compliment, okay? It means a lot, okay? So I really usually ask uh, feedback so that we can further improve things because we're doing this for everyone, Paul, no? Because we really aiming that all of you will pass our licensure examination. So I'll be closing the Zoom already. Mom Rosanna and Mom Lerma. Alhamdulillah, Mang Rosan. Alhamdulillah. I know all of you will pass the exam. Uh, just be confident. No? Trust yourself. So, three piece. You know, remember the three piece natin. No? Plan. Pursue your plan. Your review. And pray. Yeah.